Welcome back. Let's continue playing Shogi War, shall we? We typically play 10 minute games, and today we're going to play some 10 minute games. Uh, I might still continue playing Central File Rook, despite what I keep commenting on every video saying that maybe, maybe I need to vary it up a bit, but Central File Rook is, I don't know, a way that I can make many tactics happen. Um, so, yeah. Also, welcome. Uh, good luck. I knew I forgot something. I forgot to touch the volume there. Alright. But yeah, it's nice that we have this list of proverbs. Thank you. Yeah, I'll need it. These opponents are decent. So I was watching a video recently and they explained how you need, if you want to completely shut down this attack, in a different situation, but I think in general, the way to shut down this silver attacking is to oppose it with the silver. And this would mean that, oh, hang on. I dropped my pawn again. No, I didn't. Just kidding. I always freak out about dropping this pawn and I never can... It's difficult to keep track of whether or not it's actually hanging. If they bring out a rook, that could mean something different, but we're not looking at that right now. So there's Mino Castle. Here I'm building pressure on this side of the board. In a previous game, I saw that after the game, I learned that I could push this pawn on file 3 uh, to create even more tension. But this silver opposes here, so I don't have that option. Not yet, anyway. Um, that said... Hmm... You know, actually, I think this is still possible. Oops, sorry. I hit a bad key on my keyboard. It's reaching for my drink here. Let's see. All right, I don't want my bishop to be completely trapped, so I will allow my bishop to use this diagonal if necessary. Uh, right, they see that potentially I could attack and... Well, I don't know where I want this right now. It still feels like moving the knight is not a great idea here. Um, hmm. I could move the rook over, but they have pieces opposing. If I push the pawn, they move their knight. Then I move my knight. Yeah, what's this bishop doing here? If I push this pawn, they could push threatening stuff, but I hit their bishop first. Then again, I'd be attacking for my castle, and that's unwise. Um, hmm. I can move my rook over here. Many things are possible. So, so many things are possible here. It's difficult to narrow it down. Okay, so now this extends the range of my rook and maybe makes it easier for me to use my bishop. I don't understand why they would do Nana that. Fun.
Okay, I, I'm making moves faster now, but not with as much confidence as I'd like. Um, I'm a bit concerned about what if they attack with their silver, but at least they're not going to be dropping something in my rook's head. Ah. Okay. Sure, that's another way to apply pressure. Um, I guess, yeah, I'll build Kimramino. This gives them some time to build a castle, but what are they doing? They are attacking. Um, oh, they could bring the rook in this way, too. Oh, I don't know. Let's drop the rook all the way back. Okay. Oh, this hangs my pawn. But I thought I had a counterattack here. Um... Hmm. Interesting. Do I not have a counterattack? What a mess. Okay, so I'm going to prepare to attack their bishop. While also blocking some tactics in the event that somehow they get a bishop and I get checked. That's not possible right now. Uh, potentially I have this pawn push, which could be weird. But I think they would coerce a silver exchange and then they drop the silver on my bishop's head. And while I'm not looking forward to that, I think I survive it. Um, oh, they could just retreat. Wait, could I have taken this knight? I could have taken this knight. This is what surprised me so much. Okay, they played a move that, uh, yeah. I didn't think was possible. Um, I checked. Did I get my overlay? My overlay is correct. Yeah, so they protect their knight again. Alright. Um... Go home. Yeah, there were issues with that last move of theirs. But since I didn't call them out on it, now I'm the one paying the price. It's not like this position's perfect for them either, but I could have had better. I could have had a knight, and they would have had a, an attack. And who knows how it would have turned out. Um. They probably redrop it. Yep. I go back. But now I have a knight in hand. Maybe this time I won't make the same mistake. Maybe.
Okay. This is very aggressive on my part, and maybe uncalled for. Maybe it's too aggressive. But yeah, one thing I like about playing this opening is that, or this strategy, is that I can get violence to occur. Um, and with some chance that I'm going to get an initiative out of it. It's difficult for the... I don't know, like, people... This center attack seems to always catch people off guard. Maybe that's just unique to this site and 81 Dojo. Hmm. I was going to just take the knight. Now, taking is my best move. Yeah, I should take this. Yes, it's painful, but um, the knight has had a lot of influence here. This silver is protecting a square I need access to. So now I get my foothold into this position. Do I take the gold general? They blocked their bishop. Um, hmm. Something. I wish I could drop a knight right there. I could drop it back here, threatening to take that, but it's not the same. I'm going to drop it here anyway. So I want to soften up their castle from this direction and from the center. Yeah, no, this looks sensible. Let's try this. Their bishop is still blocked. Okay, they... Oh, shit. I missed that. It's actually a good defensive move. Um... Hmm. Okay, I'll take one of these. Maybe I should have dropped the gold there instead. Um. 
Somehow this doesn't look convincing to me. Uh, well... Oh, I don't know. I need to keep moving. If they attack my rook, I move my bishop. Hmm. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, a pawn. Well, no, if I dropped a pawn, they would drop a pawn. Still, I'm annoyed that I don't know how to break this. Could have struck the base of that by dropping it one square further. They're going to drop a piece to attack my rook. Maybe I take it, maybe I don't. I don't. Unless I have... No, that can't work. Strange. 30秒. What's going on, man? I don't get it. Don't understand what they're doing. It's too much for me to figure out at once. This is too much. I didn't leave myself time to figure it out. Yeah, thanks for the game. Nicely played. Alright, let's play again.
Thanks. Yeah. Good luck. They've already built this super compact shape. I don't feel a need to disturb it at all. Why should I give them aiming anything to aim at? I mean, I guess I gave them my knight to aim at, and that's not smart, but, like, I don't need to make the vanguard pawn if there's no benefit. Um... Oh. I just hung this pawn. Uh not smart. Okay, let's not hang things right next to my bishop, because that could hurt. Um, Interesting. Go on. Okay, what was next? You're taking my lance? Is that the move? My knight is protected. I've protected this pawn which means this bishop is now free to move. This pawn is hanging. This knight is loose. This silver is in the corner. Where are we going? All right, what, do I take the lance, or do I play something better somehow? If I push this pawn, the rook moves and is subject to attack. Um, yeah, this rook is uncomfortably close to my position. Let's dismiss it. Now, once my bishop moves, though, this rook can take the pawn. Um, I had not thought this through yet. They can block my bishop, but um, I should just take this knight. Then again, they're going to drop a lance in front of something here, and it's going to be unpleasant. But what I've been considering here is a silver drop. Putting the silver out in no man's land, and I don't know what happens next. Um, yeah, but this knight is loose. This knight maybe should be my target. So...
Unfortunately, this means they can exchange their silver for my knight and drop that knight here, blocking my bishop. Which is unpleasant. Um, but if they do that, I could actually take here, and then this pawn and rook can take over this file. No, oh, but then the knight gar covers this square, but then the knight's walking into a pin. Okay, we're not going to have to look at any of that right now. Um, interesting. Well, I can't protect my pawn anymore, so let's take this. Um, is dropping a lance and letting them take this terrible for me? How does this play out? Oh, wait, the lance drop is fine. Let's drop. They take Nana. here. Silver drop, and I'm winning a rook. I think I want to keep the lance off of this diagonal. Yeah, if the rook retreats, I have a pawn drop. And. Well, no, the rook can go to the edge file. I missed that. I mean, I missed this gold drop fork hitting my silver. And. Anyway, many things were missed here. Um. I don't know where that leaves us now. I've got a rook. And not much concept on how to use it here. I... I am so stumped. I don't exactly want to give them a rook here. Alright, we'll see how badly this turns out after they gold drop me. They didn't. Um, so now the gold drop doesn't fork those pieces. So now my rook in the corner actually looks pretty awesome. Um, Yeah, I still don't know the best way to attack. But this is... These should be weaknesses in some shape, way, or form. I just don't know how. I could push this edge pawn and then threaten to drop another pawn here. Oh, but then I'm not threatening to recapture because the silver covers that. Um, Alright, that does nothing to oppose my knight. And everything, everything to welcome my knight in. Um, okay. I still don't know what to do, though.
Okay, I, I am stumped. Congratulations, you stumped me. <laughs> um... Hmm. All right, so this is what you're never supposed to do with your rook, but I don't know what else to do. So we attack toward the king. Maybe I could have taken here. Oh, I definitely could have sacrificed my knight here. And the king was protecting this. Yeah, I should have sacked the knight here. The king would have not taken the knight. And then tried to find a next plan of attack. Um, but yeah, I'm moving too quickly. And missing chances. So... Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Let's do this. This was my plan to exchange these pieces. So now I have two gold generals and a dragon. They block. Yeah, I can continue attacking this. Um. Something. I'm a bit unclear as to whether this drop bishop retreat is even a good use of my time here. I think this fork might be better. Hitting the bishop, but also threatening a gold drop, forcing the king somewhere it doesn't want to go. Oh, they can drop a bishop, protecting both of these points, but then I have a gold drop back here. Yeah. I think I broke through. Okay. Um, they're not threatening mate. I'll start making mate threats, I guess. I'm not even sure if this is a mate threat, but it looks like a mate threat. How are they going to resist? I can take this. And likewise, I can take this. It seems overkill. Seems like overkill. So, yeah, that'll work. That's checkmate. Thanks for the game.
Let's play one more. Thank you. It's good to see a game decided not completely by the clock. Good luck. Or a completely is an overstatement, but it's good to see games played out um, without so many hasty moves on my part. Okay, I'm still going to play this. Hmm. Oh, right. One thing I should be doing in general is not leaving all of my pieces floating. So, yeah, let's attack um, with some degree of skill. Okay, I can still build a castle here. Yep, thanks. <laughs> All right, so I want to not make my position full of holes. Uh, whoa, okay. I've seen this idea before. It's a reasonable idea. Uh, at least I think so. Um, hmm. Wait, so now I take the Vanguard Pawn. Okay. Well, I'm baffled. So I'm not getting my pawn advanced in the center here. Um, that's okay. Oh wait, they're going to push this and the knight supports this. I've seen this before, and it's hurt the last time that I got hit by it. So you think I would see it coming a bit earlier this time, but nope. <laughs> Alright, so... We'll attack the square in front of the rook. Um, they'll attempt to hold this together. Hmm. I'm not so clear that that works. If I push this and then I take here... Uh, I'm going to drop another pawn, trapping my lance. If I take here, they take my silver. Wait, why am I reading out all of this? If I exchange twice on here, I have a bishop in hand, they have a silver and bishop. I could drop the bishop here. No, that's still no good. Um, it's so weird. I don't have a pawn in hand. It always comes down to not having a pawn in hand. That's unfortunate. Um, hmm. I don't know, man. This is hard. Whoa! Nanafun. They've got time to do that? Wow, my position must not be great. All right.
I don't know where to put my pieces. Like, I've been planning this file attack much earlier. This gives me a pawn in hand. But now my rook is loose. And prone to some kind of king rook fork. So now they find that this is the time for them to strike. Um, in general, I'm supposed to take in this kind of situation. I don't see any reason to not take. All right. Um... And if I reclaim this vanguard pawn, then what? Okay, they get a pawn in hand. I also can get a pawn in hand, believe it or not. Okay, there's my pawn. Hmm. It is very in hand. Um, so now what? If I push on this edge, bad stuff happens, right? They take, I drop another pawn, Rook Go takes, clean. I take a pawn. And that I'm winning a pawn, but that or I'm not even winning a pawn, not even close. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, we could try to use this knight, I guess. It seems like a very long road for this knight to do anything useful. Um, That's pain. Okay. I guess we'll try this. I'm not entirely clear how that's going to go. We have a token in the middle of nowhere. All right. Um, yeah, again, I'm not sure how that's going to go. World's slowest token. But... There it is. I'm more impressed I got to break up their castle, and they have so many pieces in this weird shape. I'm not super impressed by this token, but it's not even promoted just yet. I imagine what this means is that at some point I'll be able to support an attack.
Oh, hang on. They're actually attacking something, which I maybe should consider paying attention to for once. Maybe. Um. Thumb I don't know. Nifun Sanjibio. That's a shot in the dark. But yeah, things are going to open up quickly and hopefully not terribly so. Nifun. I don't know what I'm doing. But I've got two minutes to think. Hmm. So are they going to move their gold? They are not. So their king is walled in. Thanks for the game. Alright, that marks three games today, so... We again, very slowly make progress toward one Don. Uh, who knows when we're going to hit it. We're continuing to float around 20% here. Um, if I continue playing this very sharp opening, probably it's going to take us a long time to get there. I study other openings and play them solidly, perhaps I'll uh, get there faster. Who knows? Either way, I uh, hope you enjoyed that, and thanks for watching.